All right, folks. First time on this lake, and this is for sure the most fishing pressured lake I have fished in my life. If I tell you the population density of the five mile radius around this lake, you're not gonna believe it. This thing is in the middle of Chicago. You can see a golf course here. And it's a beautiful place. I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, you, you just saw the whole lake, it's tiny. But it's Friday afternoon, I don't have anywhere else to, I don't have time to go anywhere far. And I was surprised that these guys here allow boats. You have to pay them, but I mean, you have to pay everywhere these days. But let me show you what I want to do today. Look at this thing here. Abu Garcia Real Finesse Eradicator. Paired with Shimano Stragic CI4 Plus 2000. You tell me this is not sexy. If this is not sexy, then I just don't know what ultralight sex is. But this lake has um, not a lot of fish as you would expect and everything is tiny as you would also expect. But the thing is, this rod is super ultralight and fishing tiny stuff is what it's made for. And I'm here to tell you, I already caught uh, several bluegill and several small yellow bass. I mean, when they, when you feel the bite, it feels like somebody is ripping the rod out of your hands. This is, this is how ultra sensitive this thing is. But let me catch some fish and you can see how the rod is bending from this tiny little fish. I caught like 10 fish already, but of course, now that I turn on the camera, I'm not gonna catch nothing. The problem with this lake is there is no structure. So the fish are not sticking to one particular spot. So you find them, but they're in open water and moving all the time. And as you can see, they're gone already. So who knows if there will be a video. Oh, I think they came on this side. It's okay, I can cast on this side. Hopefully I catch something over six inches. That'll show me with this rod. Come on, I see something here. Even if it's bluegill, I'm using the world's smallest jig. I should really make a video about that jig. Uh, bite, 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 bite. Here we go, folks. We are on. We are on, folks. Oh my god. <sighs> Man, yeah, I've been catching small, but this is the smallest yet. <clears throat> Yellow bass, folks. I don't catch many of those. No way, folks. I just dropped it under the boat and something took it. I think some of them are under the boat. Look here, what a fun. Look here, hopefully my camera is... Man. Look here, folks. Man, he's almost the same size. But much stronger. I don't understand why. You need serious fishing gloves with these guys. They just poked me full of holes. You know what the problem is fishing urban places like this? I have never seen a case where the wind is changing direction on 180 degrees every two minutes. This is just insane. I cannot position the boat. It's just continuously spinning in a 360 degree circle 
I find the fish, then I'm facing the other way. There is no fish here. Where did the fish go? Oh, they're in front of me again. Okay, let's see. Come on. Hmm? Bite, bite, bite. Bite. Here we go. Here we go again. I mean, this, this rod is the solution to all my problems. You know, my problems are I catch only small fish. Instead of learning to catch bigger fish, I find me a rod where I can enjoy small fish. If you are in my shoes, you may consider the same solution. The fish is here. What the hell? Now it's behind me. Why did I, I? When I was there, I didn't see any fish. There we go. This wind is driving me nuts. I cannot position in front of a school. They're always behind me and under the boat. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna measure this guy. I wanna know how big these are. Oh wow. They're a little bit bigger than I thought. He's exactly eight inches, even a hair over eight. I cannot cast there. Bite, 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 but how can you not swallow this tiny little thing? Are you kidding me? Oh, he got it. He got it. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Another eight incher. Well, they are still here, folks. I'm gonna try to just love it. Bite. Here we go. Here we go. And they're like. Bluegill on steroids. Come here, buddy. You gotta be careful when you bolt flip them with this rod, though. Here we go. Oh, bite, bite, bite. You can probably see the tip. See? There we go. Man, white bass is a riot. No pun intended. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, man, they are fast. Oh. This is even a, sm a relatively small guy. They're all small, but 
He's a relatively small. He still took off with vengeance. And their mouth is very strong, not like crappy. You don't lose them once you hook them. But they do bite kind of carefully. Because I get five, six bites before I get the fish. Let's see, I see the school came close to me again. Try to catch him with the tip up so you can see the bite. Here we go. I mean, a riot. I love these guys. They should put them everywhere. Look at this. How can you not get caught? Finally in front of the boat. Come here, buddy. That's a relatively good one. Maybe eight and a half. Doubt it. I really doubt it. Up. There we go. They are right under the boat. Watch this, watch. There we go. See? Right under the boat. Sometimes the boat scares them. Sometimes it attracts them. He is full of energy. Oh, okay. Good one. Good one for this school. This one is slightly fat. Watch this, folks. They are still here. It just needed a little jiggity. Come on, buddy. Absolute riot. Okay, he ate my worm, so we got bear hook. We gotta tie something off. Let's tie something different, give me a second. All right, folks, I tied a little trout magnet on a Chinese hook, very stout, very strong. One gram, kind of heavy. Let's see if we can still catch them. 
or they really wanted only the Japanese war. I don't think so, but let's catch a couple to get the confidence up real fast. Bite, bite, bite. Three bites, no fish. Damn Chinese hook. No. Whoa. Yeah, they're gonna eat the trout magnet. Just fine. Come here, buddy. There you go. Oh my god, folks. They're underneath me again. Look, dropping. Hey. Wow, one surfaced. Wow. There you go. Oh, this one feels better, but I know he's not. Come here, buddy, man. Wah. Actually, because this Chinese hook had such a huge barb, I crushed it. So right now I have no barb at all. So I'm gonna lose some, but... Who cares, right? Coming, he's coming. Here we go. A few of them are really curious and coming to inspect my trolling motor. Oh. There we go. Oh man, this is a good one for me. This one might be 9 inches. Eh, probably not. Thank you. 